Hello folks, my name is Howard Long and today I'm going to show you uh, a little work that I've got have in progress here regarding using the Funky Dongle Pro Plus uh, for remote operation. And uh, this you may well be familiar with this, this is a Funky Dongle Pro Plus which is a software defined radio which plugs into a USB port and typically you just plug this right into your uh, PC and uh, you'd use some uh, software defined radio software on your PC and use that to uh, demodulate uh, signals and uh, and you'll be able to listen to them or uh, decode data. But with this, what we're doing is some remote operation, and uh, you know you can use uh, long USB cables, but there is a limit a limitation on the length you can do on USB. So uh, this is perhaps another option that you can uh, look at. And what I'm going to show you here is actually uh, using the Funky dongle over uh, IP, so you can run it over Wi-Fi or your Ethernet. And uh, I just have a have it connected right now into a Wi-Fi uh, router. And uh, this Wi-Fi router is slightly special because it has a USB port. Um, and uh, so it does normally it you normally use so that you can add storage to your uh, router um, in the form of maybe, maybe an external hard drive and, and just use it somewhere to to store your files. Um, however, I've modified the uh, the OpenWRT uh, router firmware on this. Uh, to handle the FunCube Dongle Pro Plus, um, I've had to do some kernel level hacks to, to make it work um, and uh, write some um, user level code as well and uh, just to talk to the FunCube Dongle and then uh, chuck out all the samples um, over uh, IP. And uh, so there's a, there's, uh, this is the Wi Fi antenna here and uh, it's just plugged into a power supply just here. I did have it running on batteries earlier on but my batteries have run out so uh, <laughs> there would have been a, a more interesting a demo perhaps because it was running on batteries but uh, yeah unfortunately uh, batteries would run out. And the second antenna of course is this, uh, this is just a homebrew um, whip antenna that I have plugged into the SMA connector on the Funcube dongle. And we're going to show you today um, wideband FM broadcast band FM receiving and uh, so on its own of course this setup does very little um, all it's doing is uh, receiving uh, radio waves converting them into uh, USB and then it's digitized within the funky dongle uh, into USB and then into the Wi-Fi router and then off out over um, the Wi-Fi connection. In fact, this particular router also has an Ethernet connection. You might just be able to see there. So you could have it going over the Ethernet connection if you wanted to as well. So right now uh, I'm set up to use it over the Wi-Fi connection, and right here we have a, a computer uh, sitting here with a couple of screens, and uh, one screen is actually running a, a secure shell into the router. Now you wouldn't normally have this running. Uh, but I'm just doing it with some, uh, it's some, as I've mentioned, this is a, a project which I'm working on right now. So this just shows me the, uh, the samples being streamed and uh, it, you can see there that every second or so it, uh, it increments up a little bit. And that shows you the 192 kilo samples per second being uh, sent over the Wi-Fi link. Now the Wi-Fi router is acting as an access point and uh, this computer here, I have a <coughs> a uh, Wi-Fi dongle sitting just here and uh, that's all great but we need to be able to demodulate the signals and produce some audio so I'm using GNU radio for that. Uh, you may have noticed, the eagle-eyed amongst you might have noticed that I was running on Windows on the screen below. This is actually physically on the same computer but I'm running Linux in a VMware uh, as a VMware guest and uh, this is Ubuntu that I'm running here and I've got GNU Radio and uh, what I've done here is uh, I set up a UDP source and uh, <coughs> what that does is it uh, listens to the uh, samples coming out of the Wi-Fi router that have come from the FC, the Funky Dongle Pro Plus um, it then does a, a small data conversion here because the samples that I have coming from the Funky Dongle Pro Plus are 16-bit um, integer um, quadrature samples and we need to turn them into floating point complex samples and that's, so this is just a, a data conversion for that and we're going to send the output of that into an FFT sync which uh, what that is it's a block to display uh, essentially a spectrum analyzer of the 192 kilohertz um, sampling samples 
and then down here there's a little thing called a throttle and what this does is it regulates the uh, sequence of the samples. We're going over uh, Wi-Fi and um, uh, IP plus we're also in a VMware, a virtual guest so there's all sorts of buffering going on and uh, indeterminate uh, rates that you're going to be receiving these samples because of the network and the virtualization. so this throttle regulates that and then the really clever stuff uh, under the hood is the wideband FM receiver which takes those complex samples at 192 kilohertz and spurts them out as an audio um, <coughs> an audio source and that's the audio sync which essentially you can think of as your loudspeaker so um, you can see this quarter rate 192 kilohertz and uh, the audio uh, sync is running at a sample rate 48 kilohertz so we have uh, <clears throat> within the wideband FM receiver we have an audio decimation of 4 times so 192 kilohertz divided by 4 is 48 kilohertz so now without further ado what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this uh, GNU radio uh, application, there we go this is my local talk radio station and just to prove this is not just smoke and mirrors just unplug the antenna there we go and you see the, this has gone the FFT has gone down quite a bit you see that there's still some residual there the FCD uh, Pro Plus is actually quite um, sensitive and in fact where I'm right now I can quite often if I drop the squelch down on the receiver I can actually uh, hear the FM even without an antenna attached uh, but I am about three stories up here so what I'm going to do now is just plug that in again and hopefully auto magically there we go that's it and just to show it's going over Wi-Fi now the last time I did this I managed to break it you notice actually that the uh, the lid's loose on here as well doing this one handed is not easy so this will get a little bit choppy once I've read there we go so you're as you can hear it is having difficulty syncing so if I then plug the antenna in miraculously it all comes back again so that's the uh, GNU radio piece and uh, again if I can just show you there I'll just run it again there we go so it's not smoke and mirrors there we go so that's how you use GNU radio uh, running uh, under Linux in Ubuntu in a VMware session on a Windows machine and actually just to add the insult to injury this is actually running on a Mac Mini as well in boot camp uh, <laughs> to make it really hard and so we're running Linux uh, on their Windows on a Mac Mini and we're running OpenWRT which is a version of Linux here and uh, as time goes on I'm hoping to uh, this in the next sort of few weeks will hopefully become uh, quite a, an impressive little device. Anyway, thank you very much for uh, for watching. Cheers now.